Hey everybody, my name is Lanzer, and I'm going to do a follow-up to yesterday's Vanguard Vehicle Play Out Loud. Only this time I'm going to delve more deeply into the loadout. I didn't talk much about that yesterday because of the... We could, we could spend a lot of time on that. And it's not because it's particularly complex, it's just there's, there's quite a bit to say about it. Um, the basic principles are pretty simple. It's just how you apply them in game that that makes a difference, and a lot of these loadout options are six and one half a dozen the other, meaning you can choose one over the other and and you know your experience may vary, but ultimately there are there are few tr clear winners in my opinion um there's some staples which you you probably should have. Um, that you'll you'll lose out on if you don't, but ultimately you can pick and choose and and be safely. Uh, I don't know. You'll just you'll be able to play, and no matter which way you go. So uh, let's delve into the primary weapon. There's the Hesh, the Heat, and the AP. Uh, the Hesh is anti-infantry, has a large AOE effect. The Heat is kind of middle road. It, ha it, it does damage against vehicles, and it has a small AoE. And then there's AP, Armor Piercing, which is anti-vehicle. Um, and most Vanguard players that I know use AP. Very few of them use Hesh. I've used some, as you can see my Araxium here. I've used some uh, over the course of time, having played since beta of 2012. I'm a main Vanguard player, so most of my time has been in a tank. Um, but majority of my experience has been in heat and AP and I really only use heat nowadays because I unlocked the Titan R heat which was the rewards cannon for the referral bonuses way back when years ago and I think it looks awesome so I continue to use it and that's really the only reason why otherwise I'd be using AP because of its flatter shot and you can still kill a lot of infantry uh, if you need to once you get the hang of how it shoots. You just won't have any forgiveness if you miss, whereas heat, you'll, you'll have some forgiveness because there's some AoE there. But ultimately, that's pretty much what I go with. Uh, I always use 2x zoom optics so that I can hit shots far away. Uh, threat detection, night vision might be useful to you on Hawson because of the brightness level, but you know, ultimately... 2x zoom is probably where you're going to get your most money's worth. Utility, all you have is reload speed. Max that as best you can. 10% will make a difference. Ammo capacity, 27 shells, again, will make a difference. And, yeah, I mean, you use whatever it is that you want to, but I'd say if, if you're looking to be get good <laughs> or have a high kill count, I suppose AP is probably where you want to you want to end with gunner weapon I change these all the time and depending on what continent I'm on they kind of have different optimizational or optimal uses most of the time I'm running a halberd SE because again the SE is the up the rescan of this one here and I just think it looks cool so I I use it and um okay reload ammo and 2x again but depending on what continent I'm on, that changes. So if I'm on Hassan, like I showed you all yesterday, my my video, my out loud play, I use the trawler. It's quickly becoming uh, one of the top three weapons I use on on my top because of how all around it is. It's like an upgraded basilisk, but it hits harder and it fires slower. And I need this weapon to bat away air dives and and other stuff that the halberd just isn't optimal against. So uh, I'll use that in situations where I want to have uh, the ability to deal with everything, or I want my gunner to deal with it, or when I have to hop in the gunner seat, I deal with it. But I also use the ranger quite a bit. It's it's a very scary weapon. Uh, if you ever get hit with the ranger, it's loud. It kind of blocks some of your field of vision. So it's a very effective weapon, in my opinion, when dealing with air. If I can manage it, I usually only run Ranger on uh, sometimes on Amrish, sometimes on Esamir. 
and it's all very it's highly situational depending on what it is that I'm um, I'm experiencing. Uh, Cobalt, I used to use Cobalt a lot against AI, especially on Amorish and Hassan, but then I started switching over to the Trawler, um, and that's that's been helpful. But my all-time favorite is the Enforcer. To me, the Enforcer was the 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 kingpin. Uh, even the halberd hits harder. It's less forgiving when you miss, and also the Enforcer can put more bullets down range faster, and I can deal more damage in totality with the Enforcer. Whereas the halberd, you you kind of need time to because of how f long the shots take. Canister's cool. I always liked canister. I just haven't found much use for it. Uh, sometimes on Hasa, no, and I use threat detect to kind of help my gunner illuminate. I haven't even oh I did fully. Met max it. Um, this is the one where I would recommend a magazine size over reload speed because of the am ammo count. You get, you know, <laughs> you, you over 20% more rounds. So, so that's pretty cool. That's, that's good. And what else? I have not used the Mjolnir. Just not, not a weapon I really... It's good for me in my arsenal, but it might be for you. I used a lot of the Walker, especially on Sundays, but... Uh, the walker, it's just it's it's too wild of a weapon I find in many cases, um, where it's very pinpoint precise, but you have to shoot a lot of bullets. Whereas the ranger, I think, is just more economical for uh, my top vanguard whenever I need to use it. Uh, what else? So let's go into the certs. In the utility slot, the four shield is is probably de facto. I don't. I don't think there's a Vanguard player who, who's been playing for years, that will tell you you should use smoke screen. I've, I, as you can see, I've never started into it. I never needed it that I know of. Uh, and the, you know, the masking is is cool, but ultimately, I think you'll get more use out of having a shield, which mitigates damage. Fire suppression is cool. It's it would be a good alternative. But the, that damage mitigation is just very powerful. So I use that all the time. Defense slot, I'll go over this one last because this is the one I swap out the most. Performance slot, I always, almost 99% of the time, I'm using Racer. And the reason why is because I use speed as my primary strategy. Um, I, just, I just use sheer f violence and speed in order to obtain my objectives and kill people. And that racer is the best way to do that. It, and also, what you may not know is that racer has much better climbing ability than rival. It might not be intuitive, but the faster you're going in a vanguard, the better you can scale up terrain. And that becomes very helpful when you're trying to get vantage and angle, which I do often. So racer is better for me. Rival, I've you know I've heard the arguments for it, and in some cases it's it's useful on like Hassan when I'm trying to weave. But most of the time, even then, I need to get to where I'm going faster. And that's more important than trying not to hit a rock. So that's that's just me. But there are a lot of Vanguard players who do use Rival, and that's perfectly fine. Well, Alright. Horn hasn't really played much of a big deal in, in, my, in my view. So, you know, pick whatever. Exterior, I haven't seen that, you know, larger, kind of see how the, the left and right limits of this tank ebb and flow with what you pick. So bruiser plating, it stops here. Vanguard plating stops here. And then challenger plating start, stops over here. I haven't seen that that makes a difference in my style of play, like the hitbox getting bigger. I haven't confirmed that though. I just never really stopped to science it out to figure out for myself. Lighting can sometimes make a difference, especially you know when you have put a light underneath you, you become a little bit of a bigger bullseye for air because it's just you illuminate yourself. So just you know, I do it because I've been playing and I, I like it at this point. It's just aesthetics, but know what that on and off switch is so that you don't make the mistake of putting a floodlight on yourself at dark when a lib is overhead. Same thing with trim. Uh, depending on what trim you have, like if you have the uh, Luma Fiber or the Obsidian. Uh, Obsidian's a little bit better at hiding you if you wanted to, but and then kind of like the Subdued Deluxe. But if you're running Luma Fiber, 
then you're a little bit bigger of a target, kind of like a look at me sort of thing. And also camo. Camo played a bit bigger role than I thought in this, and I didn't notice it until you know some some years ago when uh, I would not be the one that gets focus fired. Instead, the people with the kind of flashier camo did. I run pink now, <laughs> just because I like it, and it's just you know my thing. But I, sh if I wanted to play really, really seriously, then I would switch my camo out depending on what continent. Um, and and you might because and a lot of this is visual, like line of sight sort of stuff. So if I'm in a, let's pick this one. So if I'm I'm in Arid Force Camo on Endar, then as you can see, my camo here hides me a lot better than than Metallic Pink. Metallic Pink is just a big bullseye to say, focus fire me. Whereas right now, there's a there's a chance, might not be a high one, but there's a chance that a tank rolling by here won't notice you if they're not paying attention and then it just kind of gives you the ability to get the drop on them and then you know kill them interesting thing by the way this doesn't one shot anymore it's interesting yeah so it looks like that first shot is a damage mitigator of some kind so that's new probably in the past few months um even less than that but in any case that's what it is so camo does make a difference although it's kind of like a indirect difference i wouldn't worry about too much if you're not if you don't care to really like optimize to the nth degree and then last but not least is your defense slot by far the most i don't know probably controversial talked about is which defense slot is the best one? And my answer is, it's six in one, half do dozen in the other. Depending on where you are, what continent, and what the what the force makeup is of the people you're going up against, this will change. Could change, if you want it to. Uh, for instance, on Indar, I'm almost always running stealth. It is a great tool to use across that open terrain, um, where there are some hidey spots, and also I can shoot and and duck back if I need to, and be quite sure that I didn't get spotted, auto unless someone's running like counter intel. Uh, f I've been running flanker armor a lot recently because of the A, a to G happening, especially on Esamir. It's come in quite handy, and sometimes on Hassan. Uh, but on Hassan, as you saw in my video yesterday, I'll run a prox radar when I feel like I'm going to be going close quarters in bases. Otherwise, I might run a flanker uh, because of the A to G is strong there. I don't run Nimitz Reactor a whole lot. It, it's gone over, it's undergone a lot of changes over the years, so I'm, I'm not too worried about it anymore. I would use Nimitz if I was on a radar, or Indar, and I needed, I knew I was only going to be shooting long distance because the Nimitz has a, a as a shield that will heal, will replace itself faster than you healing yourself. So you you need time to do that. So I would use Nimitz if I was in like going through long stretches of say what Howling Pass, Mao, and maybe over here in Endar X Quartz Ridge up to Swarva. Um, yeah, I, I'd have a lot of more distance where I could compensate for the recharge time it takes for the Nimitz. I do use Nanite Auto Repair sometimes when I get when I just feel like I can't repair fast enough. I'll switch it on and off but it's situational. I haven't ever started in the Mind Guard. Don't think I really ever needed it. And Stealth though I think is the go-to because it just kind of gives you a lot of passive benefits you don't have to worry about. And Flanker has become much more important to me as a Vanguard player. 20% uh, for damage mitigation by sources of C4, A to G, infantry launchers, and, and the like. So I think that's 
all I really wanted to go over for this video. Again, I'm a main Battle Tank Vanguard player. I play it all the time. And there are some other little tips and tricks that I can show you probably in the next video. More like extended loadouts. Which you know, some some things that will absolutely make the difference when you're fighting someone else. Um, and this is where I'll end it. Okay, thanks.